Hello everyone, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to episode 9 of Living with a Saint series. Uh, we've discussed uh, four saints from Poland and then three saints from France and right now we're discussing saints from Italy. Last week uh, we talked about Saint Maria Goretti who, who, who died as a martyr at 12 years old and today uh, I'm going to talk to you about a 13 year old saint and her name is Saint Philomena. Okay, and uh, she uh, and Saint Philomena, uh, her remains were were discovered on May 1802 in the catacombs of uh, Priscilla. Okay, and uh, uh, and in the catacomb there, there was a, a a signage on the tiles that says "Peace be to you, Philomena." And uh, we know nothing about uh, Saint Philomena uh, except from a Neapolitan nun. Uh, where she said that you know Saint Philomena uh, appeared to her and 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 told her uh, something about her life, okay? And uh, and this ne Neapolitan uh, nun, uh, her name is Sister Maria uh, de, Jes de Jesu, okay? And Sa uh, Saint Philomena told her that uh, she's a daughter of a Greek king, uh, making her uh, a Greek uh, princess, and she was born on January 10. 291 okay and uh, when her family moved to Rome uh, the emperor uh, there Diocletian fell in love with her uh, but she wouldn't agree to to marry to marry the, the, the emperor uh, because uh, at the age of 13 uh, she consecrated herself as a virgin because um, because of her refusal to marry the, the emperor uh, she was uh, she was tortured Okay, so she was scourged, uh, she was drowned uh, using with an anchor, uh, she was shot with an arrow, uh, but every time she was, she was uh, tortured, angels will be there to heal her uh, until to the point where uh, the emperor got, got frustrated and uh, uh, the emperor ordered that she be decapitated. Okay, uh, so she died on August 10. Uh, on a Friday at uh, 3 p.m. Okay, and uh, so in her tomb, uh, you could see there two anchors, three arrows, and a palm. Okay, and a flower, uh, and this uh, shows the sign that she was she died as a martyr. So when her body was exhumed uh, in May 1802, uh, there were a lot of like miracles that happened. Uh, her relic was. Uh, brought by Canon Francesco de, de Lucia uh, and uh, her, her um, relic was brought to Mugnano uh, in Italy, okay, P uh, put in a, in a parish there called Our Lady of Grace. And there was a miracle that happened there uh, of a priest who had a severe heart issue uh, miraculously healed. And there are several saints who have a great devotion to, uh, to her. Uh, one of the saints is Saint Peter Marie Chanel, uh, and also Saint John Baptist Marie Vianney, okay, uh, who's a, a, a saint that I featured in this series, okay, and uh, uh, so Saint John Marie Vianney had a great uh, devotion to this saint. Uh, in fact, like when uh, people would ask for 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 prayer for healing, uh, Saint John. Marie Vianney would ask people to go to the statue of Saint Philomena and ask for a miracle, and miracles would happen. So Saint John Marie Vianney would always attribute to to this saint the miracles that happened in his parish in Ars, France. Okay, so um, Saint Philomena was canonized in 1837, uh, and her feast day is on August 11. And she's a patron saint of babies, youth, uh, and, and the youth. Okay, that's why, the, um, because she died at the age of 13 years old. Okay, and uh, so uh, let's have a great devotion to Saint Philomena. Uh, she's a miracle worker, uh, also um, a great saint uh, to emulate her chastity and her martyrdom. Okay, and also a, a great example for the youth. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.